Yo, what is up guys? Face Joe and welcome back to another video. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. And in today's video, I thought I would bring you guys something different. I'm going to be going over the three best tier 10 tanks in the game. I'm not going to go over the light tanks in today's video because everyone knows what the best light tank is right now. It is the bat chat. We won't delve into it, but light tanks in general are harder to play for the majority of players. So I thought, let me give you a tank destroyer, a heavy and a best medium tank in the game. So with that being said, let's head straight into it. Now the first tank I will say, I'll start with the medium tank, then I'll go to the heavy tank, and then obviously the finally I'll go with the tank destroyer. And the first tank that I will say that is the best in the medium route is going to be the STB, obviously. The STB might be, it was kind of a hard decision to choose a best medium tank because there's a lot of really good medium tanks out there. Uh, for instance, you have the M60, which I think is a fabulous tier 10 uh, medium tank, has great DPM, one of the best there is and also just the ability to go hull down and its mobility is just fantastic. It's very similar to the M48 pattern in that light but I do like the M60's gun a bit more than the M48 pattern so they are very similar but the M60 is also a fantastic tank but besides that I do think the SDB just takes the crown here compared to every other medium tank out there and it's mainly because of its all-rounded ability. You have great turret armor which allows you to be very deadly when using that full 11 degrees of gun depression. Now if you think about any other tank, the SDB is one of the only tanks at tier 10 that actually has 11 degrees of gun depression. And as a medium tank, it's very crucial to have that gun depression. You find that compared to many other medium tanks because it's probably one of the only tanks that you can 1v1 or at least verse any other tank in the game and probably have the upper advantage, upper advantage because it has decent DPM. Its accuracy is very, very good. And obviously you have that 11 degrees of gun depression, which means that you can just take height advantage over anybody and you'll be able to hit their easy weak spots. Plus the fact that this tank has literal premium AP, which just is probably the tipping point that makes this tank broken. Um, be because you can just pin everything. Everything this tank can butter through most armor profiles, especially if you're taking the higher advantage and getting above their vehicle, you're gonna pin very stupid angles on people's tanks and it makes it so incredibly strong at just dealing with enemies and clearing them off. And obviously that mobility isn't the greatest for a medium tank, but it does allow you to move around and that armor overall, it is pretty decent. The next tank I'm gonna go over is a heavy tank. Now. You probably could guess what I'm going to say is the best heavy tank because it's a very well-rounded tank and a lot of people know it is very strong. But I'm going to have to go classic here, hey? There's a lot of really good tanks out there, but I do think the IS-7 is still the king of tier 10 in terms of heavy tanks. Now, you do have stuff like the VK-72 with its decent mobility now, really high alpha gun and a very hard-hitting gun that actually has a lot of pen. And its armor profile is very troll now and then that makes it very, very strong. Now, another thing I would say is that you also have the VK-90 to contest with. Tanks like that contest against the IS-7, but the IS-7 still takes the crown here. And mainly, it's because of its all-roundedness. Again, the VK-72 is pretty mobile now with that new improved suspension, but it's nowhere mobile to the fact that how the IS-7 is currently. The IS-7 can easily get up to 50 kilometers an hour. It means that you can get into sneaky spots very aggressively, and that armor profile being extremely strong, it's one of the most over, over wall, overall most armored tanks. It's side armor, I'm sure you've experienced shooting the side of an IS-7. It just almost always is an auto ricochet, which is very annoying. I'm sure a lot of you know that. And also the fact that this tank's spike nose can be very troll when face hugging. And it's overall extremely tough turret means that you're literally going to just bounce a lot of shells in this tank. It has good HP and on top of all of that it also has a fantastic gun. Now a lot of people kind of duke on the IS-7's gun uh, as being not that accurate but it is actually a very accurate gun for its alpha that it has and the fact that this gun also has tungsten which obviously you know what tungsten means it's going to often hit its high roll of really high alpha on this tank that it has. It's obviously your traditional uh, Russian tank alpha. You have 460 alpha on your standard which is very very nice. You're going to do a whole, whole lot of damage and often with the tungsten you're going to roll higher than 500 damage every time which is very very nice. Also uh, the fact that it has really good DPM, DPM as well for a heavy tank. If you check its DPM it's sitting at 2.6k when running gun rammer, which is very nice. If you run adrenaline and your tungsten, you're going to sit pretty much up there. And uh, if not doing 3k average in this tank pretty easily. 
And that is one reason why I do think, well, most of the reasons why I think the i7 is still the king of tier 10. It has everything going for it. You have the mobility, the armor, the gun. It's just overall fantastic tank. If you don't have it, obviously you need to get this tank because it is the best tier 10 heavy tank in my opinion. It is going to do majority of the things that every other heavy can do, if not better. Okay, so moving on to tank destroyers now. Now, I am going flying through these little these options here pretty quickly, but there's a few options here that I can choose. There's a lot of really nice tier 10 tank destroyers out there, but my pick is going to have to be the Hori. Now, you might be saying, FaZe, how can you choose the Hori over the WZ113? Now, the thing that I have about the Hori is that it has pen, unlike any other tier 10 tank destroyer. This thing having premium AP, just like I mentioned on the SDB, means that this premium AP actually pens through almost every single armor profile in the game. Armor that you never thought you could pen, you will be able to pen it in a hurry. And that is one thing that you can't take advantage of in any other tank destroyer. Mind you, the Yag has a boatload of heat pen and you are majority going to pen every shot that you try to hit. But the Hori just makes things so, so easy when running that. And the fact that you can actually run Gun Rammer because you have so much pen, because you don't need to run Calibrated because you have that much pen, and getting your reload to 10 seconds, giving this tank a 3 point, almost 3.3k damage per minute, which is, which is the best DPM in a tank destroyer, which is very, very nice. Now, obviously, you get tanks that are very fast shooting, like the Object 263, but for the type of alpha that this tank has, it is the most DPM you can get out of there. Now, if you look at the Object 263, for instance, the Object 263 on its tier 10 gun has 3.5k. You can get that upwards of 4k damage, but what that tank doesn't have is, mind you, it does have pretty decent heat pen, but it's nothing like the Hori. Again, heat can actually also be blocked by most things like track and uh, your gun and also obstacles but AP goes through everything a track is not going to stop AP uh, a gun is not going to stop AP unless it's at a certain angle and especially using this premium AP you will go straight through somebody's gun and hit straight through their armor profile so having this much pen is one of its things that it really excels at another thing that it's really good at is its dpm like i mentioned but its mobility is decent and it's on move dispersion which something it's something that people don't take advantage of or at least notice when you are on the move and you're actually turning to shoot people you're almost you're like basically fully aimed in and it means that even if you, the, despite not having a turret, this thing moving around and having to turn around corners to hit people, it is not holding it back because it will still hit all its shots, no problem. And overall, that is why I think the Hori is just a fantastic tank. Let me not get over the armor profile as well. This tank against medium tanks, they kind of struggle to pen this tank as well. So majority of people have to change to premium AP or premium rounds just to go through it. Now you can pen the really weak spots of the tank, but because of its mobility and its traverse speed, you can move around a lot and it becomes quite troll to pen this tank. So yeah, that is why I would pick it over the WZ113. The WZ113 does have fantastic armor, but you can't compare the gun on the WZ113 to the Hori. It doesn't compare in any light, shape or form. And mind you, the WZ does have decent mobility. And overall, it is also a fantastic tier 10 tank destroyer, but the Hori, in my opinion, takes the cake in this one. The Hori can also pen the WZ like it's butter. If the WZ is running uh, its premium, or not premium, if it's running its extra enhanced armor, the Hori is gonna pen it even if you run gun rammers. So yeah, Hori definitely taking the cake here from, in my opinion as the best tier 10 tank destroyer out there. But anyways guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of this type of video. Let me know what you think of my thoughts on all these vehicles What and what would your uh, alternative tier 10 best tank be. So give me a comment down below if you think there is a different heavy, different medium or different tank destroyer that you would put in the position that I put these three vehicles in. Again, the SDB, Hori and the IS-7 have to be the best tier 10 tanks in their class for that type of specific play. So in my opinion, I do think these tanks are the best tanks in the game for those classes, but let me know what you guys think. Anyways guys, hopefully that you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I greatly appreciate it. And with that being said, hopefully your shots hit their marks and I'll check you in the next one. Cheers.